Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Emergency Response, Liberty County. It has been a whopping two and a half months since I have not done any of these videos. But there's a reason for that because, well, I have not been able to have a computer for the past two and a half months. So, I just realized that I am wearing two radios and two body cams. Let's fix that, shall we? Let's go ahead and fix that. Totally not prepared for this video at all because reasons. Alright, but let's, let's fix ourselves here. I like to, if there's already a... If there's already like a radio on the custom t-shirt, then I, I take the overhead, the over shoulder um, one off. But if there's no radio on the shirt, then I just use it normally. So anyways, let's go ahead and get out on patrol. See what we can get into today. One eight three dispatch. No active dispatch. 10 4, 1 8 3, show me 10 from 1, 10 8, active LCSO supervisor. Alright, let's go ahead and get out on patrol and see what we can come across. Bro, two of them. the paint shop show me uh, I'm gonna be heading to that show me code 5 one show me in right one eight three you're gonna be 1011 with a white Chrysler 300 s gonna be Fairfax Avenue standby for postal gonna be Fairfax Avenue postal 210 no 1032 required all right let's go to Can I? Uh, um, um, um. The traffic stop. One eight three break. Give me ten thirty two. Is a vehicle just rolled up behind me? Twenty. Location. Gonna be two ten Fairfax Avenue. So one eight one in route. You guys need to leave. Let's go. Leave right now. NYPD, and can you give me the location of that fire? Uh, be advised, it's gonna be 1011, postal 210. Can I, ha like, you said it was around the sheriff's department, right? There, I'm, this is not the fire scene. This is a 1011. You two need to leave okay. right now. Let's go. Get out of here. Come on. Leave right now. No, let him go. Leave right now, or you're gonna be arrested. No, let him go. Leave right now or you're going to be arrested. Leave. Y you better put that gun away. There is a priority cooldown. Oh, yes, sir. Leave. Come on. Let's go. Get out of here. Hi. Yeah, I needed a backup unit because they just randomly came on scene yeah. right, right behind my car, so... Well, you want me to stay, or...? Yeah, just in case they come back. Yeah, sure thing. Alright, how's it going, sir? Uh, it's going good. It's alright, I apologize for the... the amount of backup. Um, th that person pulled up, pulled up right behind my car and... raises a lot of hairs on the back of your neck when you have people parked behind your car like that, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm just found. Alright, um, do you have a license registration insurance with you? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. 
Alright. Um, can I hand? Thank you. Alright, do you know the reason why I'm stopping you tonight? Uh, no. Uh, well, you ran the. You completely blew the red light back there. Oh, so, uh, I did? Yeah, you did. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Alright, well. Do us, do me a favor and uh, sit tight for me, okay? I'll be right back with you. All right. How's it going? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this guy ran a red light, and then I had that one vehicle come up behind me. So. But uh, you're free to go, officer. I I only needed the one backup. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I called it in, and I couldn't find you guys. I thought you were guys like by the sheriff office or whatever. No, we're over here. <laughs> All right. Well. Anyways, um, yeah, you're clear to clear off. Okay. Sheriff, um, the suspect has a, a an assault rifle in the back seat. What? Yeah, I saw an assault rifle. Uh, I don't know if it's real or not, but. We should currently, yeah, we should check it out at least. Do me a favor and step out of the car. Pardon? Do me a favor and step out of the car. Uh, can I have a reason? Because you got a weapon inside the vehicle? Yeah, and that's for my own defense. Go ahead and step out of the car. Alright. Go ahead and step out of the car. Alright. Do me a favor and uh, just place your hands behind your back for me, okay? You're not under arrest, you're just being detained. I want to put gloves on and search vehicle. Uh, can you do make wanted, please? Um. Make wanted. Type it in chat. I mean, that works too. Um, Make one in one word. Make it one word. Oh, he doesn't have that turned on. Oh, never mind. Alright, so at this time you're being detained right now. You have a high risk weapon inside the vehicle, so. <laughs> I have a gun license. Alright, that's fine. Is it in the vehicle? Uh, yes, it is. You have a permit for that? Also? Uh, yes, should be next to the gun, in the gun bag. Alright. Do me a favor and just lean up against the car here, okay? You can face me, but... Just sit there. Yeah, you got two assault rifles, I can see. Uh, you got one another one here. in the trunk? Yep. Damn. Takes... Wait. Finds first. Jeez, he had two frickin' rifles in here. Alright, is are these both registered to you? Uh, yes, they are. Alright. We're gonna run these and see what comes back. Uh, run... Crap. Runs, rifles, are they? And a pistol in the passenger seat. Hmm. Jeez. Do you sell these uh, guns or what? I'm running the rifles, see if they're registered. Yeah, possibly a... Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. The registered is pistol registered. Okay. Has any weapons been used in any past crimes?
No. Okay, I'm gonna try to step away from my car. Two assault rifles and one pistol, then. I'm gonna take out the pistol. Alright. All right, sir. Um, it looks every looks like everything's clear, so you can face me. So you know how uh, risky it is to when we're on a traffic stop here, and you just have an assault rifle in the back seat. Well, yeah, but I mean, you could have asked me if I had a license before I stepped out. I mean, true. But all right, so I go ahead and uh, turn around. I'm gonna get these cuffs off you. The pistol was clear. All right, sir. So we're gonna give you weapons back. Um, everything looks clean and clear. Just face me. Is anybody here or CPD supervisor? Negative. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let you go off with a warning, alright? Um. Why? Well, because, you know, it kind of raises hairs when we have weapons inside the vehicle. But, um, if you're all clear and nothing, you know is my brain just turned off if nothing is like crucial to any investigations and you, all that you know you're all good I mean the paper says you're allowed to have weapons so they're all registered everything comes back clear so we're not gonna keep hassling you too much all right all right so just make sure you uh, pay attention to those red lights okay uh, yeah. Alright, so get out of here and uh, drive safe, okay? Uh, you too. Alright, thanks, officer. Have a nice one. You too. Alright. That took way too long, but... 183, my traffic stop is gonna be code 4, verbal and given. I'm back tonight. That other guy could just code zeroed. Or went 10 7, I'm not sure. But, anyways, okay, that is a major scene going on at the Liberty Guns and Ammo, so we're just gonna not deal with that. 228 to LCSO, um, supervisor. 183, go ahead. Can you head over to the, uh, gun store, please? Got a subject who just ran out in the middle of the road and got struck by an officer. 10 4, in route. Alright, looks like we got a 1071 request for officer hitting a subject because they ran out in the middle of the road. I mean, uh, people just do not listen. Twenty-three. Are you going to be ten twenty-three on scene of that ten seventy-one request? What scene is that? Scene four. Walk any closer, we will find uh, arrest you on the charges of of impeding. Let's go, sir. Yeah, you come. Doing all right. What's going on here? So I was driving down the road in this Taurus right here, uh, black one, Sheriff County. Um, I was driving down the street with him, and he said, Good, good, stepped out, down and sat down the store in the middle of the road. I didn't see him, it was dark. And right. now he's allegedly paralyzed. Oh, that's fun. Hey, PD supervisor, you can break off. Is he. A, well, one of my officers hit a 
subjects, so I'm supposed to be here. Unless no, he's th he's talking he's talking about me RCPD. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm talking about. So is he awake and conscious, or? He's paralyzed and supposedly he can't talk, and I can't know his. No, uh, that I was I was on the phone, phone with him, and I, I, I can't, can't talk, talk because, because I'm in the because he was on the phone with someone. If he was on the phone with a person that was in the server, then he probably said, I can't talk because RP situation. If you saw the phone in his hand and he was talking, that means he was on the phone. Well, I didn't see it because he was lying down. Anyway, you got hit by a car. That's all you need to know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I've checked his pulse three times and I'm not getting a reply. He, is he coherent at all, or? I don't know. You don't know? I don't, I don't know, know, because, because I'm, I'm not getting, getting a reply to anything I ask. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna be out of channel for a second. We'll see what all here comes to Medic Man, never mind. I was just about to say if oh. you called EMS or not. Yeah, I called the EMS. He just didn't have a uh, truck. Right. Don't let them freak no, touch me. No, they were. They... I'm gonna sue them too if they touch me. Hey, sir. Sir, calm down. Can I ask why you ran into the middle of the road? Well, I see this car coming, and I say, "Why not get ran over? I can make my money." Have you had any drugs today? You had a what from the white from the fridge? I had a little bit of white powder from my friend. From your friend or your fridge? Friend. Friend. Who is your friend? Damn friend. friend. You get hearing aids, you deaf fox. All right. Um, can we run a? Can we run a diagnostic to see if he's um consumed any drugs today, medics? <coughs> Car one to medic one. Oh, I passed out this morning from it. All right. Well, if you're, if if you have taken the consumption of drugs today, then it's possibly a chance that you're still high on those drugs, and that's why you ran out in the middle of the road. So, that's the only thing I can think of, because a normal person wouldn't just run out in the middle of the road. They look both ways, like they're taught in kindergarten. No, 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 I just run out there. Are you calling me dumb? No, I'm not. Am I, am I gonna have to press charges on you? No, sir. So, nobody is calling me dumb. Don't look like you're gonna press charges on anyone if you just admitted that you ran out in the middle of the road on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Medics, can you see if he's taking any drugs today? Yeah, I'm I still have. I. I, I uh, uh. You're right there, sir. Uh, no, I need more. I still have some in my car back at the spawn. I need more. You don't need any more, sir. I have to put it in my eyeball. <laughs> you need to relax. <laughs> Definitely do not need to put it in your eyeballs. <laughs> That's possibly how you go blind, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is going to be the same case as that 14-year-old last night. I can just tell from the eyes that he's on cocaine. Oh, that's wonderful. But I run to a few uh, vitals if you need me to as well, if you're still not sure. Yeah, if you're already saying he's high on cocaine, then just get him in the ambulance and get him some help. Yeah, I mean... It's not really much you can do, like, as a friend. The best we could do is either try and flush it out, but that might cause internal damage. If you really want what's best for him, put him in a cell, strap him down, and let that thing run its course. Then it won't. Be, then we won't have a chance of puncturing one of his lungs when we flush it out. So you're saying I should put him in the drunk tank instead of getting him help? 
Mm, yeah, get him help after, because you can't really bring him into a mental hospital high as fuck. You're going to need to get him sober first before you're going to do anything. All right. So, sir, do me a favor and uh, stand up, please. If you can stand up. I'm used to a lot. Alright, um, medics, if you can just get your backboard, we'll put them in my car and we'll ship them to the station. Yeah. I will shove crack cocaine all the way down your throat so hard that you will die. Okay. Sir, if you are gonna start threatening me, sir, you're gonna get arrested instead of being put in the drunk tank. Hey, hey, back, back off. Hey, I'm trying to talk with you. I'm doing more talking. Sir, I'm trying to get you help the, that you need. Stop. You your back off. With the back off. All right, go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's see if we can't get him on him. He'll get his legs. All right. Three, two, one, lift. Uh, Alright, let's put him in my car. Step back. Step aside. Grim, if you could open my, my back door. Sus, step aside, please. He doesn't have any lips or whatever. I don't care, son. I just want to talk to him. So step back. Alright, I'm gonna transform him to the station, get him some help. Oh, hey. Right. Oh, f God. Uh, well, I'm gonna for you. There goes like, my nice new uh, carpets I just put in this car. Car one to medics. Oh, oh my. Okay, uh, medics, medics. He's throwing up a lot of blood. Oh, that's not normal. Oh god. All right, All right. that's just, just not that's not right just cocaine. Out. He's on. He's on some. Oh my god. What is coming out of his eyes? eyes? Is that blood? This man's a. This man is a literal demon. Okay, hang on a second. Jesus Christ. Hey, I got a pistol with a new one. No, no, no. It's probably the best option. Jesus Christ. God damn. You're, I'm uh... I'm stopped! Your oh my god. Your car is gonna... We can we... Your car is gonna... Like ham and cheese and copper coins. Can we take him out of the car and put him back in the ambulance? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we gotta put it in the ambulance, this, this is, this is something new, oh I, I don't God. think I've seen this in a Yo, 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 his eyes are turning God. black, like, full black. This is black. a literal demon. Alright, oh, yeah, I got the guns out, we're about to deal with the back demon. Away from him. This is man is becoming a literal zombie. So, closer. <laughs> I mean, away from me. Uh, <laughs> they're about to. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Pushing that oh guy. my! Jeez! Oh. I, I ain't never seen no cocaine like that before, god. We need to back up, back up, back <gasps> up, back up! Oh god, there he goes. Hey, hey go, Jesus! Jesus Christ. What the I ain't hell? seen I ain't seen nothing like this since a war. I wasn't even in it. What hey, am I you, witnessing? Give me an M two four nine. I need it. I back back off. Shoot him. Stop bunny hopping with that. I talk about that one. Later. All right, we're gonna restrain him. We're gonna get. Get uh the restraints. Go get the I don't remember what it's called. I don't know how it hog tie. Alright, everyone ignore the flying men. I got leg I got fast straps for legs and I got a pair of handcuffs. Yo, like his face is turning black. Look at look at the veins on his face. Oh my god. How does he feel alive? Oh my god. Uh, I don't. I gotta be honest. I don't think this is anything I've ever seen. I mean, that's what I haven't. I haven't seen any of this shit in my life. I think we need. I, a, know, I think we need to transfer him to the hospital. 
<laughs> Euthanization is a good option. I blame mental hospital. Oh, he's on like a hard level cocaine and he's laughing nonstop. I'll just get him in the ambulance and then just, yeah. Alright. In the ambulance he goes. We'll, we'll, ask, we'll escort him just in case. He just said, I will kill Jesus. Alright, puts an ambulance. Just, just put him down and let's Damn, he dented my car. The little devil. Oh, you gotta wash that out. So, I've seen everything, and you think you've seen everything. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm tense, Evan. Just not cool what unless we have an exact location of the suspect. Or, uh, why is there a SWAT vehicle patrolling? He's going, my He's going back to station. Turn four, turn four. Or any three, you seen that Liberty County guns and ammo is going to be code four. I'm um, back tonight. One transport to the hospital. All right. Well, I've never seen cocaine do something to that to an individual like that. So that was definitely a first for me. Talk about the devil within. But um, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming back to Emergency Response Liberty County. I hope you do enjoy the series that I'm starting because I really did want to do something for you all. And I really hope this is the next step in my YouTube career where I make little series. Little, I don't even think series is, is a word, but I don't really care. But um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching while there's shots fired in the background. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy my content. Go ahead and hit that notification bell icon and get notified whenever I upload a video. Go ahead and check out all of my social media. My Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch, and my Discord. All those links are in the description below. Go ahead and click that big link in the top of the description. It is the PRC official Discord link. Go ahead and join that if you do want to join PRC and play in the Global Radios. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Welcome back, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. So I'm going to be clear with all of you just before this video ends. Um, I am 100% not sure why Discord um, had all those microphone interferences as well as my microphone itself was having that whirring noise I do not know what that was caused by but don't worry the next episode um, I will hopefully figure that all of that out and all of that will be gone so thank you all so much for watching I'm sorry that these um, occurrences happened and I hope that these occurrences will never happen again thank you and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye